back to my channel um, Trisha's Timeless Travels so thanks for joining me uh, we are gonna talk about our review of the series that we just wrapped up the Norwegian epic 2019 um, the travel agent cruise that uh, Will and I went on um, we did not pick the ship it was picked by IntelliTravel and Norwegian it is definitely not a ship I would have picked um, and we'll talk about that in the review, so let's just get right into it. First and foremost, the ship. Um, the ship was beautiful. It was it was huge. Uh, I enjoyed everything about the ship and the amenities except for our cabin. Uh, we did not like the layout of the cabin. Having the separate bathroom and shower area and sink area, having all three components of the bathroom being separated just, just grossed us out. We just, we hated it. Um, having our bathroom on one side uh, with a little small sliding glass door, and I never posted it or whatever, but if the person was in the bathroom and they had the little light on in there, you could actually see their silhouette through those glass doors. And vice, you know, the other way around with the shower, if the person was in there with the light on, taking a shower and there wasn't much light else in the cabin, you could see the person's silhouette taking a shower. Now there was a curtain that you could close off the room from the rest of the room. So if you were in there with someone other than your spouse, um, that helped out the situation. But if you were coming into the room from outside, then yeah, you did have to pass that to get into the rest of the cabin. So we just did not like the layout of the cabin. It's not something that we would book for our clients unless that was the only ship that had the itinerary and the dates that they were looking for. Um, other than that, we did enjoy the ship. Um, number two, the food. We did enjoy the food tremendously on the Norwegian Epic. There were some meals that were obviously better than others, um, but we did enjoy the food. Now, with that being said, we never one time ate in the uh, complimentary dining room. We only ate at specialty dining, um, and the only complimentary places that we ate were the buffet and the Oceans. And Oceans was really good. We really liked it. We really enjoyed it. Um, and, oh, I'm sorry, in the noodle bar. We did eat at the noodle bar, which was complimentary, and that was really good. That was, that that was very, very tasty. Um, the buffet was really good, and I actually liked the way the buffet was set up, where they had multiple stations where you didn't have to stand in one specific line to get to whatever you were trying to get to, whether it be the salads, the specialties, the pasta station, the fruit, whatever. It was not set up to where you had to stay in exactly one line to get through it. So that was something that we really enjoyed about the buffet. Um, the staff. Everyone was incredibly helpful. They were very, very warm and friendly. We never had encountered anyone that had an attitude or anything like that. Um, I don't think that we would have even if we weren't a ship full of travel agents. I think that was just who they were. Um, but we did enjoy that tremendously. Um, last but not least, um, the what the things that we did as a travel agents on the ship that we where we had dinner and um, were provided with excursions for free by our vendors. We just want to say thank you so much to Norwegian for hosting us for dinner, for Vacation Express, for hosting us at one of our excursions in Cozumel, um, for the staff at uh, Great Syrup K for hosting our, our meals and, and everything. We just had a really good time on the ship with, with our fellow travel agents, um, but the staff was just incredible and the vendors, we just, again, we just we just really want to say thank you for, for all the things that you did for us while we were on the ship. Um, now, when we were in Cozumel, we had a great time. We walked through. We didn't do a whole lot of shopping, and we didn't do anything outside of Chakanab. But the staff at Chakanab was super helpful. They were super friendly. Um, they they made sure that we were having a great time, and we did enjoy ourselves while we were at Chakanab. With that being said, the food was not the best. It it just tasted just very okay. Um, we would have liked to seen more variety at the buffet, and we would have liked to seen, um, you know, just a better flavor going on with the Chakanab buffet. I don't know if that was an off day for them, or if they were just overwhelmed with the amount of travel agents that were coming in that day. I don't know what what the situation was because we've never been there outside of being travel agents. Um, but we did enjoy ourselves. We really liked it. We loved the tour and everything. Um, but we did find the the buffet a little bit lacking. Um, Great stir up K. 
Um, the only place that we ate at Grace Stirrup K was Abaco Taco, and it was fantastic. We we really loved Abaco Taco. And the fact that our ship cards worked on um, the island, where we don't drink alcoholic beverages, but we were still able to get our sodas and, and smoothies and stuff like that that came with our unlimited drink package, that was a bonus. That was an absolute plus. So um, thank you to Norwegian for that. Um, that is not a travel agent thing. That is actually part of Norwegian's package if you have the unlimited drink package. It does carry over to Great Stirrup K. Um, we did enjoy everything around the ship, the shows. We went to Cirque du Soleil, um, the short uh, Epicurean Dreams, I believe it's what it's called. Um, that was an incredible show. It was just, it was a small scale version of a Cirque, Dream sh a Cirque du Soleil show. And it was, it was amazing. We were, we were blown away. And the food in there was really, really good. We really enjoyed that, um, that venue and that night. Um, the other things that we stayed around the ship, I mean, we are cruisers, so we do cruise a lot, but we only cruise with Carnival. This was our first time cruising with Norwegian. Um, and so we did enjoy Norwegian and we will come back. We will go back to Norwegian. Um, we, we've been converted. We will use it. We will go on a Norwegian ship. Uh, we're actually going to go on a couple of different other lines who've invited us out um, at discounted prices, like deeply discounted because we're travel agents just to come so we can give you guys these, these reviews and let you know what we think. Um, so stay tuned for that. We will be doing some other um, excursions, um, excuse me, sorry, some other vacations throughout the year that we'll keep you, you know, keep you posted on. Just come right back here to this channel, stay updated. One of the things that I was asked about um, on Facebook and um, instant messages on Instagram was some of the things that I was wearing in the videos. Um, so I do want to let you guys know that you can purchase those items on Amazon.com. Um, I have posted the links in the description, so look down below. They are there. Um, the white shirt sleeve dress that I was, the white um, shirt dress that I was wearing can be purchased on Amazon. Please make sure you look at the sizing chart on that. Um, I normally wear a size large and I had to actually buy a 2X just for it to fit. It was, it did run very small. Um, the one sleeve uh, black dress that I wore to the Cirque show on the Cirque Dreams Day. Um, if you want to, if you haven't seen that, you can look at that video and see that dress. Um, that actually as well can be purchased on Amazon. That uh, did fit true to size. Um, I, maybe I bought it one size bigger. I'm not sure. Um, but that, that was pretty true to size. Um, the black swimsuit that I was wearing at Chakanob can also be bought on Amazon. Um, and you can also purchase some of the items that um, we use to travel with on Amazon, such as the document holder. Uh, the cup that we travel with, um, the, the drink cup that was on the packing video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put some of those links down below in the description um, so that you know people can actually get access to those things um, that they've asked me about in the video. Um, the post-cruise shenanigans. Um, we did go down to downtown Disney, which is now called Disney Springs, and we love Disney Springs. I'm a Disney head and I love Mickey Mouse. That's my favorite cartoon character. And we love Disney Springs. Um, so if you watch that video in that part of the series, day six, seven, and eight, um, we went down there at nighttime. We didn't go during the day where you could really, really see what's at Disney Springs, but there's a lot to enjoy there. So definitely if you're in Orlando, and even if you're not going to the or to the theme parks, stopping by Disney Springs to get some of the souvenirs, as well as all the restaurants and all the sites you can see there. We also went to an Orlando Magic game while we were there. That was my first ever um, regular season basketball game, and it was a delight. I actually had an, a ball at that. Um, the Magic Arena uh, Amway Center was very clean. It was very nice. Um, they did a great job of keeping you entertained in between, like, um, timeouts and stuff like that because sometimes you know you're at, a, at an arena I don't know about you guys but we're Chiefs fans here in Kansas City um, and sometimes not saying Kansas City does this but we've been at other you know, other stadiums with baseball and football where during the timeouts you just kind of it's a yawn fest um, and that did not happen at the Orlando Magic game we were really really entertained and we tried to show you some of that um, on the video so if you take a look you'll see some of the entertainment that was happening during halftime and during the um, during the timeouts 
so overall we had a great time in in, in um, Orlando and we had a wonderful time on the Norwegian epic um, so stay tuned for our next adventure um, will and I actually took our teenage sons to st. Louis and went to the six flags there so you can stay tuned um, for that next video that's coming out with all the shenanigans from that so we appreciate you guys um, like sharing and subscribing our channel um, please continue to do so and if you want to stay tuned on all the vacations that we have coming up uh, we will be going like I said we did go to Six Flags so that's coming up we'll be going to Chicago we're going on another cruise with our sons um, we're going on a couple of cruises the rest of the year and at the end of the year we are going to Dubai for our anniversary so stay tuned um, for all of our videos and we appreciate you so like share subscribe and if you want to stay tuned to what we're doing make sure you hit the notification button so that you don't miss it when it hits the airwaves so thanks again for joining and thanks again for watching. You guys have a wonderful day and please let us know if you ever want to join us on some of our timeless travels.